Now, the other day we talked about a circuit. We said power supply, conductor, switch, and a load. You need those four things to make up a complete circuit. We talked about fuses and we talked about several things. But let's take a look at this. We said that we had to have our power supply. So there's our power supply, power coming in. Here's our conductor coming this way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a switch like this. We know, so we have power supply, conductor, switch, and then over on this side, we're going to have our load. So we need these four things. But I left this space right here because we're going to talk about what could go in here. We In here we could have another switch that comes down like this. And then we could have another switch that comes up like that. So we could have, we could have three different switches here. Each one of these is what they call in series. They are all in series. This one here and this one here. Let me draw a squiggly line here. So now, the squiggly line, that tells me that this is a temperature switch. Temperature switch. Now, anytime you heat anything up, what happens to it? When you heat it up, it expands. Everything expands when you heat it up. So this switch right here is going to expand when the temperature rises. Once the temperature rises, that's going to close and power is going to go through. Temperature drops is going to contract and it's going to open up. So this switch is a temperature switch that opens on temperature fall or closes on temperature rise. Then we have this switch. This one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this half dome on it like this. This is a pressure switch. This tells me that if you think of a balloon, Anytime you put pressure in a balloon, it expands. Once it expands, this is going to close. So this is a pressure switch that closes on pressure rise. But more importantly, it's going to open on pressure fall. So when the pressure gets too low, or the pressure gets low, that's going to open up. This one here, we can have the same thing here. So now, this pressure switch, when the, temp, when the pressure increases, it's going to expand and it's going to open up. So this is a pressure switch that opens on pressure rise. So let's go back and look at these. On here, when, this, when the temperature goes up, it closes, allows the pressure to go through. So this could be your, your thermostat. That could be your thermostat right there. So what would this one be? pressure switch that opens when the pressure falls. Well, this would be your low pressure switch. This one is going to open when the pressure gets high, so we could say that this is going to be our high pressure switch, and this load right here, this would be your compressor contactor coil. Your compressor contactor coil. So all of this basically is going to be 24 volts. Now these three switches they're all in series. So all of these have to be closed for that to work. That is what you call an AND circuit. AND circuit. This one and this one and this one have to be closed for that to work. You could also look at it as an OR circuit depending on your operation. OR circuit because this one or this one, or this one, can shut that off. So depending on how you're looking at it, this could be an AND, or it could be an OR circuit. But the most important thing is that they are in series, and all of these have to be closed for this to operate. Pressure gets too high, let's say on an R22 system, gets up to 350 pounds, 375, that opens up. Low pressure switch. Let's say for a 10A system, pressure gets down to 50, 60 pounds, it's going to open up. Pressure drop too low. Room temperature, let's say you have it set to 72. Well, it gets below 72, that opens up, shuts the whole circuit down. So I hope this helped. This is Julio from Aircon Academy.